Hey guys, I'm Common Rider Silver, and today you will be joining me on my first adventure with Blender. Today I will be downloading this Godzilla Minus One model, uploading it into the 3D software called Blender, posing it, exporting it, and then printing it on my 3D printer. I'm going to show you from start to finish my fumblings, my experimentations with this new software. But it's going to be a lot of fun. So here we are on CG Trader. This is a website where you can download 3D models. And if you look up Godzilla Minus One free 3D model, you'll find this super duper awesome 3D model that is pretty much one to one with the movie. Just look at this thing. And it is entirely free. And on top of that, it is rigged. So basically, there is a 3D skeleton inside of this that you can pose however the heck you want. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's download this model. Press free download right here and it'll take you to this screen. And here you go. There is, is 553 megabytes, but that's how you know it is full of detail. So you press download and this will start to download right now. All right, now we're in Blender. I'm gonna go up here to the top left corner and press file. I will press open and then I will press right here, Godzilla minus one Blender file. And here we are. This is the Godzilla minus one file. As you can see here, it is just in a neutral pose. So we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to modeling. And we'll get a better view of Godzilla minus one here. And as you can already see, here is the skeleton inside of Godzilla minus one. You can already see those black lines in his arms and his legs and his head. And these are going to be all the little nodes that we can use to pose this. Now, I am still an amateur. I tried this once just so I didn't look like an absolute fool when I started doing this. But I still barely know what I'm doing. So, like I said, you're going to learn with me today. So I'm going to go into object mode right here. And from here, I can kind of click on the different little nodes. And I'll change this from global to local. I think this is what I'm supposed to do, right? And then from here, I can go to pose mode. Now this drop down menu has the pose mode option and you can see all these little nodes lighting up and you can click each one of them. So I want this Godzilla minus one to be looking upwards, like he's roaring upwards. So let's come up to the head and I'll click on this node back here and then I'll go over to move tool. and we will actually no let's not do move tool let's do rotate and we will move Godzilla's head up and then we will go over to his jaw and let's click this node up here and let's rotate down his jaw a little bit oh there we go now he's in a full roaring pose okay how about we select this part of the body Right here in the middle, maybe we have him leaning forward a little bit like that. Yeah, how about that? And then down here at the legs, uh, let's click this node and pull his leg back a little bit like that. And maybe bring this leg out a little like that. And bring this one out, bring that one out a little bit too. And then how about his tail? How about we grab this back here and how about we grab this one right here? And how about we rotate the tail a little bit, grabbing each section, grabbing each node and kind of curving it. All right, that looks cool. Come on, guys, encourage me. That looks cool, right? And how about we have the tip of it kind of go up a little bit? Yeah, it's in a nice little curved position now. I think this is looking pretty darn cool. If you grab this central part right here near the base of the tail, you can use this to kind of move his whole body forward like that. That's pretty cool. I think I'm liking this pose. 
It's a simple yet effective pose. Now we can go back to the layout. And if you notice, Godzilla is kind of soft looking right now, right? His detail is not entirely there. So if you click Godzilla and you go over to this little wrench right here that says modifiers, you can up the level of his subdivision. And the more you kick it up, the more detail you will start to see. And of course, the higher the detail is, the larger the file is going to be, so the more space it will take up on your computer. So I will just do three for right now. And you have to click on the spine separately and kick those up as well. So we'll do three on the spines as well. Now this is not going to be the most detailed model in the world if you only have it at three but it'll be a reasonable size when you export it. Now I'm going to go over to file and I'm going to go to export and I'll go to STL because that is the 3D printing file. And I will just export it to my download section. Now I am in Prusa Slicer, which is the 3D printing slicer that I use for my Elegoo Neptune 4. And you go over to file, go into import, import STL, and here is our file. I will open this bad boy up. And here is Godzilla minus one. You know, for only having a level three detail, it's actually pretty good. It's a little bit pixelated, but it's not too bad. How large do we want to make this puppy? Let's scale him up to four inches. Good little four inch model. And we will go to print settings and we will go to we will go to support materials and make sure it is organic. I love me some tree supports. And then we will just go supports everywhere, infill 15, and slice net. Now the model is done slicing. We've got a ton of tree supports because, because Godzilla Minus One is a crazy complicated design, and the designers hated 3D printers, so they made all these terrible overhangs. I already know this is gonna print very rough. But this is just a test. So let's export this G code and we'll call it Blender minus one. We will eject it. Then we will put it into my printer. Now we start the print. And I'll see you in eight hours. And we are back. Here is our minus one figure that we posed in Blender and then printed out. You know, for the scale, the detail is actually pretty darn good. Look at all that scale detail. It looks really good. This is a great model, even at a lower uh, subdivision rate. Now, there are a few details at this scale that do get lost. As you can see on the spines, you're kind of missing some of the spike detail. You're kind of you're missing the detail in the middle, kind of those ridges, and they get shrunk down a little bit. Also, at the mouth, there's no more teeth and there's like no eye. So if you were to print this model larger, if you were to kind of separate the pieces so you could print them individually and more quality, I think you would have a great, great product here. But even at four inches, this looks pretty cool. I mean, this looks like Godzilla minus one from every angle because that 3D model is so darn accurate. Of course, I'm realizing now I printed him with his tail up, so uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I'll just bring in one of the sport pieces from the print and uh, there you go. <laughs> so this is just a proof of concept that, you know, if you download the model and pose it, you can get something going like this and scale it up to be an even larger and more quality project. A quick comparison. Here is my Godzilla minus one 3D print with the Bandai Namco five inch Godzilla vinyl. So this is just a cool little comparison. But you can see how accurate that model is in all of the details. It really, really is a darn good model. Now this model is not intended for sale of any kind. So if you download this model, you cannot pose it and then sell it online. So please do not do that, but definitely use this for your own projects. I hope you guys try this out. This was really fun and really satisfying to feel like I was part of the movie making process and rig a 3D model and pose it exactly how I want it and then print out a little maquette. We'll call this a little maquette. So definitely try this out and uh, download Blender. It's free. 
I will put all the links to the resources I used in the comments below and uh, tag me on Instagram if you do try this out. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.